And here is our winner from tonight's Scorpion Championship of the World Series of Bowling 14, Jacob Buttrup. How's it going, guys? <laughs> uh, Jacob, first win in quite a few years here. Um, why did this win mean so much to you? Um, uh, after uh, my yesterday performance on Cheetah, it's you know, I had to overcome adversity, my mistakes, and um, it's a very emotional win. Um, it's my first tour win since my mom passed back in 20, November 2020, so this one definitely is a meaningful win, and um, I know she was looking down to make sure I made my seven pins in that match too. <laughs> Um, how were you able to bounce back mentally after the tough day yesterday? I mean, I talked to you even earlier today, and I could tell it was still gnawing at you. I um I I went in on the TV set a little bit early. I wasn't throwing shots, but I was testing the approaches, like trying to make sure that I wasn't making the same mistakes I did yesterday. And although it was a, it still dawned on me as a demon going into today. But at the same time, I realized that's the past, and um, the best way to overcome the past is just focus on the present. Uh, in the, the semifinal there, Jesper had pretty much no ball reaction on the left side. Um, what's going through your mind when you're seeing the lefty struggle with that? Obviously a lot of things. Um, I know Jesper got out of urethane, and I know he wasn't having the best ball reaction. So I think I just had to stick with my same game plan when I bowled my match because uh, Jesper's, Jesper bowled really good this week, but um, I had a different game plan, and I think that's what paid off in this title match. Um, on that 11th shot, nine, 9 would have been a winner. Um, Got six. What well, crouched down on that one? Did you like it? What happened on that? Shot? Uh, I think I overthrew it a little bit. Um, definitely didn't hit it. I mean, my moves typically are always through the beak, so I tried to make the move to where I already got the break, the shot before. So, made the move. Um, just got a little bit get like got fast with it, and you know I left the bucket. So forced DJ to show up. I know, like I said, EJ's been a red hot bowler this year. So my mindset is thinking that EJ's gonna throw the double if he needs to win, and he threw a good shot. He just got a very bad break. You've been throwing the ball really great all year long, Jacob. Yeah. What was your mindset kind of going into tonight, and how how did you actually feel going into that championship match? I definitely felt confident. I mean, we this was an all-star future Hall of Famer lineup of a TV show that we had, so definitely had to think that you know I'm the top seed for a reason. I have to feel like I'm the best bowler in the building, and thankfully enough, I was I was able to come out on top on this one. Tom Clark said this is your first World Series of bowling title. How good does that feel? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. A handful of shows. I believe the only only animal pattern show at the World Series I've never made was Shark. Um, so I think that the first win got that monkey off my back. And um, honestly, after this being the first win in almost four years, I think this is definitely one that's motivating me to uh, pursue and finish off the season great. Jacob, you mentioned it out when you were out on the lanes. What does the Milwaukee crowd mean? It's always amazing. Like there are times where you just can't even hear yourself think. I mean, it's amazing the the Milwaukee area. There are always uh, this area in general in bowling with bowling is a big crowd. I know there's a lot of talent out here, and um, just this area in the Midwest is it's always been a good crowd when we come here to uh, Milwaukee. Tom Clark said the decisions haven't been made final for next year yet. Would you like to see this? World Series return back to Milwaukee? Me personally, absolutely, because I don't think I missed the cash yet in this building. So, um, honestly, like, I go where I go. Like, I bowl where I bowl. So, obviously, we make the return. It, it would be amazing. If not, then, you know, we got a different location, different venue. Just got to go out there and keep striking. Got the, uh, the World Championship uh, on the line next Sunday. You're currently leading, heading to 12 games of match play. Um, what do you need to do Thursday to, to keep that top seed and keep chasing that major championship? Uh, obviously, the top 12 bowlers that are bowling, there's so much talent out there, and they had to overcome a lot of a lot that was going on this week. You know, bowling 60 games, get to the top 12, it's already hard enough. So I think that, honestly, I just need, like I said, sticking with my game plan is a big thing. So just got to go out there and just keep executing. Now, match plays start till Thursday. You almost made that chart show. You said you haven't made, ever made that television show. You almost made it here. You finished an eighth. Are you kind of glad now after the title tonight that you're going to get a day of rest before getting all the, in the rest of the world <laughs> championship stuff? Or would you rather my be mind's, obviously pulling the TV show? But. My mindset right now is I'm glad I got a day off. <laughs> so, uh, But obviously it was it was a frustrating end to Shark. I bowled a really bad game to miss the show. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I still got a lot more bowling this week. So I can't focus on the one mistake I made. I got to realize that, you know what, I still got more bowling this week. All right, uh, eight titles now with the major, one step closer to Hall of Fame eligibility. Um, what would it mean to you to, to keep knocking on that door? 
it's just an amazing feeling. Uh, my dream growing up to, to be where I'm at already in my life, it's, I can't even put it into perspective what it actually means. Like, to be where I'm at in my life, having eight titles in a major, I think that's m much more that I thought I would have accomplished than what my original goal was. Is there any significance to the cherry blossoms on your jersey today? Uh, I just like to tell the crowd that um, I'm part Jap. Well, obviously everybody on tour knows I'm part Japanese, and the uh, the theme of the jersey is like the Japanese theme. So that's uh, that's one thing that I just wanted to put on a jersey. And for me, it's like I like to mix it up. I just don't like to stick with the same designs. I like to do something different for every jersey. What's going to happen to your bowling shoes? They are they're leaving. They're never leaving my sight. At, no matter that I could retire them, and they are never leaving my sight. What did you do with the old ones? Uh, some special guests in the crowd now has them, so, but hey, if I can't use them, I might as well give them to an important cause. What do you think your mom's reaction is right now, looking down on you? I think she's just happy the fact that I kept it clean tonight and I uh, didn't foul. So I think um, she's the reason where I'm at in my life right now. She, she pursued me, she motivated me, she took me to every event in juniors, so. I think without her, I wouldn't be where I'm at in my life. Congratulations. Thank you. You might see Jacob Bottrip on Sunday. We've got more World Series of Bowling coming up tomorrow night on Fox Sports 1 with the Shark Championship and on Big Daddy Fox on Sunday with the World Championship. Good luck the rest of the way in the World Championship, Jacob. Thank you guys so much.